Hi everyone, it's Bishop Susan. We're about to enter our fourth year of living our faith. In the first year, our emphasis was on prayer. In the second year, we joined together in Bible book clubs. This past year, we've been working on our devotional lives. And this coming year, we're moving into the year of love. Bishop Michael Curry of the Episcopal Church refers to the life of following Jesus as the way of love. Indeed, as you read the Gospels, you follow, it, you follow tr a trail of encounters between Jesus and individuals where Jesus acts out the love he has from God and the love he has for people. When Jesus heals the sick, the ten lepers, the blind man, the bent over woman, the woman with an issue of blood, he's showing love. When Jesus joins people at the table or feeds them as he does the 5,000, He's showing love. When Jesus points out the importance of generosity, as he does with the rich young man or the widow who gives her all, well, he is showing love. When Jesus preaches and teaches about God's will to liberate the oppressed, he is showing love. Jesus also teaches us to love and do likewise through the story of the sheep and the goats and the story of the Good Samaritan. For Jesus, love is not a touchy-feely emotion. Love is shown in concrete actions of generosity and service, especially to those who are the most vulnerable and oppressed. This next year, we'll be looking at examples of how to love. And we invite you to think about how you show your love to God and neighbor in both word and deed. We will be following Jesus together in his way of love. In the musical Godspell, there was a song, day by day, day by day, oh dear Lord, three things I pray, to see thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, day by day. That is what we're going to do. As we love, we will continue to pray, read, and worship. I'm looking forward to being on this journey with you together as we continue living our faith.